Hey guys, what's up? It is extremely tired and somewhat busy here investigating your favorite movies, and today I'm going to be doing a movie roundup video where I talk about the movies, TV shows, and animes I watched in the last couple of weeks or so. So somehow, even though my school had ended, I am even somehow more busy? I went back to Hong Kong just now and I spent several days helping my mom's company work and because of that I barely had any time to watch movies or film YouTube videos or do anything at all which I did not expect when I rain when I returned to Hong Kong which is a little bit frustrating but bear with me here also I'm recording this as fast as possible because I'm gonna be late again because I have something to do every day for some freaking reason so anyways uh, I couldn't do anything in early July I just came back to uh, LA at the end of June and then I had to move in July and then immediately afterwards there's the anime expo which is where I'm gonna start in the anime expo day one I well I only went for one day uh, on the first day of anime expo uh, at the very end I went to a a uh, hall, a ballroom at a hotel to watch some premieres, some anime, anime premieres, woohoo! Starting off, I watched 2B Hero X Episode 1. Uh, I didn't plan to watch this, I only showed up um, early to the ballroom and they were still playing it, so I looked at it. And it is actually a Chinese anime, it is the premiere of an uh, anime called 2B Hero X. And it looked freaking terrible. Everyone in the anime acts like a parody of itself. Everything looks like plastic. It's very cartoonish without any self-awareness. It's bad. 3 out of 10. Then for the Crunchyroll premiere section, uh, I saw Alia-san sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, episode 1. And it's an okay slice of life anime, high school rom-com anime, nothing too special. I've seen animes like this a bajillion times already uh, but what I can say is that the main actress Uesaka Sumide can step on me if she wants and I'm sad I can't see her in person I really wish I could um, also again it's only the first episode I didn't watch the whole thing so I can't really fairly give it a score so I'm just gonna give it a one digit score seven out of ten Immediately after that, we watched No Longer Allowed in Another World Episode 1, and it looks like the most lazy, low-effort anime ever. It's not funny, it's not clever, even though it, it, it insists that it is clever, but it is not clever. 4 out of 10. Afterwards, we have another session in the same location, and it's even more anime premieres. This time, they're exclusive premieres, meaning that I was one of the few people who got to see these episodes firsthand. And oh my god, I hate to say this, but the animes they showed us are very mid. First off, we have After School with Hanako-kun episode 5, and I am not caught up with Hanako-kun at all. And this is a spin-off, I guess, and it's episode 5. I haven't even seen the first four episodes. I was really bored by it. I fell asleep 6 out of 10, I guess. I don't know. Then we watched Quality Assurance in Another World episode 1. And I also fell asleep during it multiple times. It's another isekai. There's nothing all that interesting about it. 6 out of 10. Then we watched Nare Nare Cheer For You episode 1. And this is the first episode that I actually kind of liked. I was awake throughout the entire thing. I love the Takasaki setting, probably because I've been to Takasaki. I think the animation is pretty beautiful. And there's some good, passionate parkouring in this episode that I really liked. 7 out of 10. So anyways, my first movie of the month actually went to Dead Ringers by David Cronenberg. It's a very interesting concept, it's also very psychosexual, it's very gross and full of body horror, and it's weird, and I like that because that's David Cronenberg. Ah uh, yes, Letterbox favorite subgenre, intense violence and sexual transgressions. That said, the execution isn't as interesting as I hoped it would be, 7 out of 10. Then I watched Love Lies Bleeding, and it's a very angry film. It is competently shot and edited, and I think Kristen Stewart is great, but beyond that, it is simply a very decent revenge crime thriller. Decent at best, 7 out of 10. Then I saw I saw the then I saw I saw the TV glow, 
and I freaking loved it. It's definitely not for everyone, but it worked for me very well. It's a haunting, visceral, and incredibly heart-wrenching depiction of the trans experience, and the film keeps making me think about the film long after I've seen it. I highly recommend it, and it's my favorite movie of the year so far, 9 out of 10. So I boarded the plane and returned to Hong Kong, and originally I wanted to watch Yi Yi on the plane, um, but I couldn't download it in time, so I rewatched Fallen Angels, and hell yeah, it's fucking delicious. It's a delicious movie. Mm -mm -mm. 10 out of 10. After returning to Hong Kong, of course, as per tradition, the first thing I'm doing is watching a movie. So I watched All Shall Be Well at the theaters. And surprisingly, it's not bad at all. It is a movie about grief and moving on. It has excellent LGBTQ representation. And it's very slow paced and restrained for a Hong Kong film, which is pretty great. I didn't expect that at all. Uh, the editing is meh. Surprising considering that this guy's Wong Kar Wai's editor, the cinematography is okay. I like that there is barely any music in this movie as well, but the ending is a bit rushed. 7 out of 10. And then I impromptly, improvisedly went to the M Plus Museum, the art museum in Hong Kong that is newly built, uh, to visit the Api Chatpong Wida Setakul exhibition. Apparently, um, when I went there, it is the second last day the exhibition is going to be exhibited. So Api Chapong Wida Setakul is a Thai art house director who made Uncle Gumi, who can recall his past lives and syndromes in a century and memoria, and I love all those movies. And I got to watch, there are like multiple short films, but I watched one short film from front to back completely, and that short film is Letters to Uncle Gumi, which is a nice accompanying company piece to Uncle Gumi, who can recall his past lives. I I also saw a little bit of Primitive, which is really good, very spacey, atmospheric. I also saw a music video called I'm Still Breathing, uh, where uh, you will see a bunch of shirtless Thai men jumping around on a truck. Then at the theaters with my family, I watched Twilight of the Warriors Walled In. And it's not bad. As expected, it's very cheesy and campy, but it embraces, embraces its campiness and it's just all out fun. There's really good production design, recreating the iconic walled city. Um, and there's no incessantly bad music, there's no terrible cinematography. It's actually tolerable, oh my god. 7 out of 10. Then I watched Le Samurai by Jean-Pierre Melville. Uh, yeah, I watched this film in four separate settings, uh, four separate sittings, which I did not plan to, but I keep fucking running out of time. I keep running out of time because I'm busy doing something else. Um, but finally, I finished watching The Samurai in four fucking separate sittings. The production design and the music is surprisingly good. It's very modern, very slick, very clean. I also like how cool and calculated everything is. It's almost Bersonian. Also, Alain Delon, literally me. He's literally me. 9 out of 10. So I decided to watch something bad, so earlier this morning I watched The Invincible Dragon by Fru Chan, and it's fucking terrible. But it's so bad, it's actually somewhat funny. The CGI, the music, the editing, they're all garbage. But it's so messy, there's almost something to like about it. Yeah, and it's so messy. This film is not just your basic cop versus criminal action film. It touches on topics like OCD and breast cancer and bungee jumping. It's ridiculous. The antagonist is a silly goose and I have no idea what the hell I just watched. 3 out of 10. So, these are the movies, animes, and TV shows I watched in the last couple of weeks or so. I'm actually binge watching Q as we speak. Uh, have you seen them? Comments below, let me know. Subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching.